on the weekend so i was trying to reiterate that or make a reminder for people who are not in the know i think most people are in the know because i've spoken about this place in glowing terms beforehand in previous occasions and i think a few people have actually hit me up and said hey because of your clips because of your podcast i've actually went and checked this place out and i really love it so it's good to see and again i don't do this for recognition if anything i want as little to do with the people behind this place as possible i just want to have it because I, I don't know not because i don't like the people but just because i want to just you know sometimes when you try and become the inside person it kind of ruins the fun of the thing that you're you're enjoying you know when you're trying to be too clicky and trying hey man i want to be a friend guess let's you know guess this stuff and you want to get in the green room i don't know i don't care about that stuff i just love the space and i think because i've been because i because i've been so spoiled in my travels and because the uk is so um random in terms of the quality of the clubs in terms of the quality of the nights in terms of the temperament of the people that go out on any pacific weekend the things that are good you have to really hold them close to your chest like you really have to kind of take care of them and i think for me when it comes to fold which i'm speaking about um i want nothing to do with the people behind it i've met a couple of them and they're legitimately nice people everyone i met there is really, really nice like great to talk to you can clearly see they're passionate about this shit and they're not doing this for a check they clearly care which kind of you know you see in what they do in a club in terms of the programming and the space and whatnot but i'd rather keep it at arm's length and enjoy it for what it is because legitimately after last weekend when i went to this event here called synchronosis er errors um with special requests and jasmine Inf infinity and rebecca salvadori i saw special requests actually and only jasmine i didn't see rebecca salvadori so unfortunately um my bad but what a great night legitimately what a great night and another reminder as to why in my opinion fold is the best club in london hands down without a shadow of a doubt without a shadow of a doubt from everything from the entry uh, process to the bartenders to the system with the lockers to the space in terms of dancing to the people that are usually attracted to that kind of place to the outdoor sort of patio bit where you can smoke and buy a beer as well it's absolutely perfect legitimately perfect for me in terms of what i like and what i want to see and um for the most part I think it might be the only venue in London, for me anyway, where I would legitimately go blind. Like, you know, some places you don't go blind. Like a, a good example, again, you know, my bad for like speaking ill of other venues. But a good uh, a good example is like XOY or maybe Corsica Studios to a certain extent. Going in those places blind is, you know, you're going to, you know, you're going to cause yourself an issue because the programming is all over the place. You have no idea who's, you know, like, like nothing makes sense week to week sometimes, in my opinion. Again, maybe I'm in the wrong there, but from the times I've been there, I've not really liked it. So, but also if you go to the Pacific Nights, they can also be magical. Same thing with Phonox and all those kind of places. But I think legitimately, Fold for me is one of the only places where I can go in blind every weekend and legitimately be happy with the event that i went to who i got to see the people i spoke to randomly in the queue the ambience of the crowd the easiness of which i could get drinks the toilets whatever everything is just perfect for me the only thing that's a slight a slight kind of cause for concern is the sound because again i'm quite lucky in the fact that i was I went to the very, very, very first fold party when they opened. I don't know when that was, 2018 or something, right? And that obviously was the big launch of the space. It was meant to be this new 24-hour club and all this, you know, there's all these glitz and glams about it. And unfortunately, as per usual with London counselling and whatnot, um, you know, those kind of opening hours got pulled back somewhat. I think they only do them here and there, maybe once a month. I don't know what it is, but the idea of it being 24 hours is basically gone out the window because the idea kind of how they sold it to us was like, this is going to be our London equivalent to a Bergheim where it's going to be open from like Saturday to let's say late Sunday most times, but that hasn't happened unfortunately. But you know, they still do what they can in terms of having 24 hour parties. So still props to them in that regard. But overall, it has to be one of the best places or best spaces um to go and party in london in my opinion um especially for communicate um uh communication wise communication or commute wise for me um i'm like 30 minutes away from there on foot like walk door to door if i'm not mistaken the first party that they went up they put on there which i went to i actually walked there actually just to see how it kind of would feel to like be in my end which i'm kind of from and to go to a nightclub that's 
plays that music because this is the that's the wildest thing about it also if you imagine i'm from the area right where fold is like i grew up there like my whole life specifically so i spent the majority of my life traveling or taking the number five bus to go out of that area to go and party and rave in trendy east london you know anywhere past Olga east is where i went basically so to now be however many years down the line have a space that's playing the kind of music that i was chasing in the trendy parts of east london or parts of south now being the area that i was actually from it's quite a mind fuck it really is um but yeah cycling there was quick instead of walking a cycle that day um took like what 15 minutes 20 minutes because i was wearing you know going out of boots so i was cycling quite slow whatnot pretty chill um there's a couple of gates and like pot and lamp posts in and around the area so you can basically lock your bike up it right in front of the club so it's quite safe in that regard not not that anyone's going to be looking at your bike all day long but in terms of you know having it in some ditch somewhere you know you're pretty safe in that regard so that's quite nice um the queuing process is pretty easy pretty calm um they do a good job in terms of limiting how long the queue looks because it kind of snakes around on the inside courtyard thing where that's a good idea whoever decided to do that because the last few times i did go they would have it be so when you went into the gates and you got searched that was like kind of the main bit to kind of get in but the main queue was outside so that it would snake around the building and towards the back of fold it's like dark and a bit sketchy looking so it's good to have people kind of you know feel like they're moving because it's snaked in that was easy the searching again minor it's annoying don't get me wrong but it's a minor london clubs don't complain about it. it is what it is ticket thing is easy to get scanned get ticket get stamped and then you head on upstairs up the stairs isn't it? which is always a iconic sort of like start or primer to the night because you know you're going to get started and then as soon as you walk in obviously you've got a table to get your padlock um and i think the deposit if i'm not mistaken is different if you're paying cash and card i don't know how much it is i think it's like 10 pound 15 pound i don't know how much it is but essentially you pay a deposit and you get a certain amount of money back i forgot how much it is exactly but the locker system i definitely advise it because as great as a place is there's no real space to kind of really chuck a jacket behind stuff unless you want to chuck it behind some chairs but i think if you've got a pretty decent jacket or you just want to be kind of carefree and enjoy your night i would recommend you know taking out some money before you go and ensuring that you do buy yourself a locker because once you've got the locker you can just leave your stuff in there and just kind of you know if you need to take something out or if you need to put something in you can easily do it quick quick time and again the space is just brilliant in it one fairly square room with a with some soundproofing on the roof the shutters on the side that kind of let some light through some of it's been tinted as well then you've got the djs playing at the front behind the massive barriers um it's just really cool like it really is one of my favorite places and the time i went there today or that time i went to that weekend they opened up the back of it because if i'm not mistaken it was part of an exhibition or something if i'm not mistaken let's read the actual thing what does it say here the first synchronosis, sorry, synchronosis eras party um, that followed where comes special request, um, also known as Paul Warford and Jasmine Infanti, as well as site specific artworks from the host of experimental artists. Okay, so there's an artist that was doing some work there as well. Um, but I don't want to read that, it's all art talk, but you get what I mean, right? Um, so they had the backspace, which is usually the sort of. Um, green roomy type area they had that open to everybody so that was pretty cool you could go to the toilets too back there that was awesome so there was like two sets of toilets open the one at the back and the one towards the front as you come in and you know ended up kind of shuffling my feet away most of the night and then ended up leaving because i'd work in the morning and getting on my bike and kind of heading back home but it was a good reminder as to why i legitimately think Ford is the best nightclub in london for me anyway personally and it might have something to do with the fact that they don't allow you to take pictures in there which is a little bit you know berkheim wannabe issue but it does work let's let's be honest like i know some people have got like ptsd from like being rejected in these places and when you see people doing it in london they can come across a bit try hardy and a bit pretentious but let's be real like i myself when i went to um inferno one time got told off because i was recording right and i was recording i think a video that i uploaded on my youtube and it was just like my own video i wasn't getting too crazy nah i think i was getting too crazy maybe aiming at people's faces so i might have done that which is obviously not the right thing to do and i'm you know somebody that's got experience of going out so i should know better than to do that so i did it i messed up i made an error imagine just regular folk how they must get giddy and stuff so i think it does make a a, a difference it really does it really does help to kind of I wouldn't say what does it do i wouldn't say center people but it just maybe just lets you kind of go in there knowing you're going to have a bit of a tear up 
because I know some people just take them off anyway because they're not the best stickers anyway and they make you put them on yourself um, which is weird um, when you go to Berlin they don't do that they legitimately you know you take out your phone especially when you go to Berlin so any place most of the places you put your phone in a thing and they stick it on there for you um, if I'm not mistaken Bergen has a pretty aggressive sticker for the most part it never comes off i remember one time i having it on and it was like i was wearing skinny jeans you know taking your phone in and out of your pocket maybe to check the time or to get someone's number or to add someone on instagram and the stickers will still stick on and now from what i've seen recently from the reopening they have these really massive ones now that kind of cover the entire back and the front so you know they've probably done some research on the most sticky um pill resistant kind of stickers that exist out there and put them on there but let's be honest it does work and I think it works because if you're not mistaken, like oh, quickly checking again. But if 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 I quickly checked over the Instagram of Fold and saw their tag pictures, for the most part, there's hardly any real ravey ravey footage from inside the club. Of course, you see some pictures here and there, right? But in terms of what you see in other spaces, in terms of everyone's got a clip, a little crappy clip of someone playing, doesn't exist for the most part. You do see some of these ones here, which, if I'm not mistaken, these are from the kind of dub nights they put on, right? Yeah. Josh Shaka Ing is in calm controlling yeah so they got these sort of like dub reggae types of events that they put on there quite regularly and um, they do pretty well but that's about it you don't really see too many images of course there's one there there's a clip of the shade here somebody on their way there on the DLR this is quite a cool image actually there was a time when this was being crazy so again I'm from this end so I, I, I used to ride this DLR all the time back in the day bunk it get chased by the flipping ticket attendants and whatnot to see someone that looks like this on this sort of train is kind of a testament to how multicultural london is and also the kind of way areas change really quickly like they stay the same forever and then they change really fast right you go to a shop one time it like you know it's like popping into a shop and seeing one kid wear supreme and then suddenly you're seeing a whole batch of kids in there who look like you as well it kind of proves okay cool this place is getting very gentrified very quickly but you know i welcome it because it allows us to have an actual legit nightclub you know what i mean like in 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 canning town or in stratford in the area which is crazy and now that walk has become like a thing you know down the hill to go to the space and stuff it's just pretty nuts it's pretty nuts i'm not going to lie um but yeah so you don't see that many pictures or videos of it inside and i think legitimately it's definitely helped curate a pretty unique atmosphere one that you don't get any other place in london for sure don't get me wrong i don't think it generally works in london for whatever reason i think as punters we're just a little bit too excited and we just love to get <laughs> fucked really for the most part and document that fuckness and kind of regret it in the morning so maybe it's just not going to work that way but i think overall it really does help to really kind of ground everyone and let people kind of know okay this is a different vibe than what you're used to going out wise and it kind of adds to the entire event and i legitimately think like i said before this may be the only place i would go to blind on a weekend so big up forward big up what they're doing in it they're absolutely doing god's work in that regard and i do recommend if you are over in london and you want a place to go out to go and you know push your fist in the air up and down definitely recommend you go and check those guys out because for me what the best for me the best